I got your uh, your memo yesterday for a sick and tired leave. Yeah. You know, if you want to take a couple of days off, you, you, that's fine with me. Just you don't have to be so dramatic. Dr. Katz? Yeah. Can I take a couple of days off? What are you, nuts? No, it's absolutely just just um, pencil it into my. What is this over here in the book? Who is Dr. Katz? Sharon Myers called. Sharon Myers? Is this a joke? Well, if it's a joke, it's not funny. And if she called, it's really not funny. Hmm. I I thought that she understood that this relationship uh, was was not working out. That 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 she would have to see another therapist. Well, I don't know. Did she call for an appointment, or did she call just to say yes. hi? She wanted to set up an appointment. Yes. Let me let me put together a list of referrals and I'm going to see if there's somebody who I think would would be a good match for her because doesn't she have an X next to her name in the in the patient file? Yeah, but that that X is silent. I should I should call her back just to. Uh... What does that mean? Well, in this particular case, it means that extra crazy. No, keep going. Excommunicated. Well, it's kind of like that because there was just too much going on there, you know, for for either of us to handle. Oh, what do you mean? Well, Laura, you know, you see me as a therapist and as your employer, but I am also a man, and... Dr. Katz, you're... Well, it's just that Sh Sharon was, was drawn to me in a way that made both of us uncomfortable and <laughs> therapy impossible. Um, and and what complicated this thing further was that is that I found her incredibly attractive. Dr. You know, Katz... To use my own words. You, you shouldn't be telling me this. You shouldn't be listening. You, know, you, you worked as a substitute teacher for a while? Oh, yeah, in New York City. Yeah, that must have been rough. That's a crazy job. First of all, they call you up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. They wake you up. Right. Then they ask you if you'd like to come into work. And you're allowed to say no. My first year teaching, I made $72.14. I had to work that one day to show my dedication to the children. Did my voice just crack then? Nope. Good. Because sometimes I get misty thinking about the kids. Tell you, though, I never, you never stop hearing from your college once you graduate. Yeah. They track you down wherever you go. Sure, well, now with the Internet. I got a call recently. Hey, Todd, this is the University of Florida calling. We're putting together an alumni directory. What do you do for a living now? I told them I'm a child pornographer. They were so disappointed, they stopped calling for two days. Do, 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 do. You ever go out to eat in a big city like New York or Boston or any other big city? Yeah. Get a little leftover food. What do you do with it? I'll tell you. Give it to a homeless person. Then you feel like a hero for the whole night. Mm. Guy comes up, he's like, hey, can you spare some change for some food? Change for some food. Tonight is your lucky night, pal. We are skipping the middleman tonight. Honey, hand me the bag. Sir, look what I got for you. Two ice-cold leftover chicken wings. Hi, it's me, Bobby Slayton, here to see Dr. Katz. Remember me, Bobby Slayton? No, not really. He'll be with you in five minutes. All right, well, I gotta work on my voice exercises. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Could you wait outside the door, please? Okay, well, <clears throat> you see, the thing is, is that if Dr. Katz is going to understand me, I have to slow down. I'm also seeing a speech therapist who tells me that I got to go hum, mum, mum, hum, mum, mum, hum, ee, ee. Am I bothering you? Yes. All right. You know, my wife says to me, you got to go see a shrink. Well, I think she's always saying to me, I gotta be sensitive to her needs. Well, that, that's... And women always say, tell me the truth. Tell me what you're feeling. Let me know what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. And every time I do that, I just get myself in more trouble. Every time. Like the other day, she drives on a pair of pants and says, does this make me look fat? Right. No, your fat butt makes you look fat. What's it, why are you blaming it on the pants? Well, that's a... It's the fork and the refrigerator and your mouth. That's, it's nothing that's to a... do with the pants. Uh... You know, she's always telling me how angry I am. You're telling me how angry I am. Right. Of course I'm angry. I'm all these morons out there. People think Roger Moore is a better James Bond than Sean Connery. Of course I'm angry. Hey.
Hey, Dad. Hey, Ben. I, you know what? Can you call me back in a couple of minutes? I can't tie up this line right now. I'm expecting an important call. All right, fine. Hello? Hi, Dad. Ben, please, I asked you not to tie this line up. I know up. this is annoying, but... Okay, Ben, I've got to keep the li this line open. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I just, right. just want to I want to keep this line open for a patient. Is she good looking? You betcha. Pretty woman? Well, yes, as a matter of fact. A very pretty woman? Yes. A very, very pretty yes, woman? Yes, Ben, she's very, very pretty. A movie star? No. Right, that was a bad guess. <laughs> Let me start over. A pretty woman? Ben, I really have to go. Don't torture me like this. I haven't seen you in four weeks, and I just think it ruins the continuity a little bit, and it's because I haven't been... Yeah. I've been busy, and it's hard to reschedule. Well, you know, we, we, we've we tried to accommodate you. I know, I know. It's just that something that, that I should tell you is that when I call and I talk to your secretary... Laura. Laura. Yeah. She can be very... Um, what's the word? Curt. Yeah. It's just a little irritating, and yeah. which is why it would be nice if, what's her name, Laura? Laura. Laura would be a little bit more responsive and a little less curt. Yeah. That would be nice. Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura. How you doing? Fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's, uh... You sitting? Yep. Me too. What a coincidence. Are you working too? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm doing some paperwork. Mm. Well, it's just, uh, he, the point is, is that now it's been, what, five weeks or so. I can't even keep track. Mm -hmm. And it's and before that, you it know was what, like no, we're, we're catching we're, it like as catch can. And we're actually going to have to stop now because uh -huh. you know, we're, we're, our, our time is just about up. Okay, well, let's at least try to schedule for next week. Okay. Okay, okay so I'm looking in my book, and what's, what, what is good for you? I got, uh, shoot, Yeah. Thursday. My son's playing soccer. I can't, I, I've missed almost all the soccer games. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something we've discussed about how to be a good parent, so I can't, I'm not going to be able to come in on Thursday. Can you do uh, Thursday morning? I'm just making a note here to talk about, um, about parenting issues. Okay, well, how about Thursday morning? Thursday morning doesn't work for me. Uh -huh. So, uh, Laura. Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Sure. I assume you know a lot about my father's patients. Yeah. You get, you have access to all the files. Right. Are you sworn to confidentiality, or is just it's, it's just him? I've never actually been officially sworn. So you go around and tell everybody. Right. That's, that's a lot of power. I guess so. But, you know, a lot of these people are here because no one else is interested. Friday. Can you do, like, 7.30? Could you get in a little early? I can't do that now. I can't do Friday. Over the weekend? I'm going to be here during the weekend. I hate to do that because it's when I spend time with the kids, but... You know, I, I also have a life, Alan. Yeah, I understand. You know what What would be great is if you could leave a couple of painful memories on my voicemail. You know, it's so hard for us to connect physically. Maybe this is, a, maybe this is the way we need to work. Recurring dreams, um, any kind of medication you're taking. Just if you could leave that stuff on my voicemail, at least when we do get together, I'll have a running start. <laughs> I just called to uh, say that uh, you know I changed my mind about the movies. I think we should uh, I think we should go tonight. Well, and I, you know, I don't think we should see just one. Right. I think we should go and we should do that thing where we stay in the theater for a while. See, as it turns out, maybe tonight is not such a good night. Well, why not? You well, were the, you were the guy who asked. Things are starting to happen around the office, and I may have to work late tonight. What do you mean? Hey, there's a double feature right down the block, which we can see tomorrow night. It's just that, uh, Dad, I'm, you know, you were the one who made the plans about the movies. Now you're retracting the offer. Well, just cause I think you're doing it just because I said no, and you know better than to act like a baby. I am not. This is, <laughs> I'm not being vindictive here, Ben. Well, what, do you have a date? No, not, no, it's not a date. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Well, what, what do you have? You have to work late? It's, it's kind of like, it's work. What do you mean, kind of like work? I, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago. Nah. I, d I do remember. I mean, well, I have pictures. <laughs> so it's kind, of a, it's kind of work, but it's kind of a date. Is that it? No, it's not, it's not a date. Do you remember a couple of years ago I told you about a patient? She, she was a dancer. Right, she was a, right. Yeah. 
and I, I was treating her for maybe six, ten months. Yeah. She was very attractive. Well, if you believe the pictures <laughs> that I have plastered all over our house. Right. No, she, she's a very attractive woman, and that right. became an issue in my treating her. You mean her looks? Yeah, it just became too distracting for me, and, yeah, well. and uh, my looks became a little too diverting for her. When looks clash like that. Yeah. Yeah. So she called me. And I'm just waiting for her to... Re I yeah, if this her. was a woman you were attracted to, it's probably not a good idea to... Well, I just want to remind her of why we stopped seeing each other. That's that's all I'm planning to do. It just may take a few hours. What kind of reminder is that? I'm going to hand deliver the reminder to her, I think, against my better judgment. That's probably not a good idea, huh, Dad? Didn't I just say that? I, I think that uh, maybe you... Uh, maybe if you give up your license, tonight's the night. You know? Yeah. All I'm saying is, you know, you know the oh. job ain't worth it. Well, that's... She was a rocket. You don't pass up that opportunity. I mean... That means she can kick her own face <laughs> with her own leg. That's amazing. Have you made any progress uh, on the marital front? It seemed to, to me like... You know, it's like I said to my wife the other night. She wants to be more romantic. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know what you want to do. We've tried well, candlelight dinners, and it's hard for me because I can't see the food. I tell her, put on the TV, get some light over here. Well, She wants to take a bath together. Like, she likes candles around see, the bathtub. It's like a sacrifice. Yeah. Why don't we take a shower together? And it seems to me that women always like taking a shower together because they're the ones under the hot water. Right. I'm standing there all shriveled up with soap in my face. I got shampoo in my eyes. Yeah, this is great, honey. Well, that's a... I'd like to continue. I have no more feeling in my jaw. You know, you, you, you have a, you have a self-inflicted speech impediment. Well, sometimes my brain is faster than my mouth. Yeah. Just can't keep up, man. As long as they meet back at the house at the end of the day. Yeah, okay. You know, I think part of your... Charm? I was going to say dilemma. All right. Can we come back to the charm? Sure. I think part of your, your dilemma is that you speak so fast, unlike right. myself, that you find yourself with all this... You know, with a few hours at the end of the day, which you don't know what to do. Um, you know, it's sort of like, yeah, it's kind of like that. You know, there's a, there's an exercise we can do which might help you decelerate your speech. Really? Yeah, it's called slow talking. You know, I was gonna go out to see the uh, see a double feature with my dad uh, tonight, but uh, he he canceled on me. Oh can you wow, believe that? that's really sad. So, um, do you? Uh, do you like the motion pictures? Sure. Me too. Did you ever go to the uh, the movies and eat a whole jumbo pack of Junior Mints? No. Oh, God. It's a good feeling. Yeah? It's total freedom. Well, good morning, Dad. What are you talking about, good morning? It's only, uh... Well, I don't know, it's 11, but isn't that what you'd say when you're angry? Yeah, good morning. Well, look who's here. Good morning. You mean, like, good gracious, goodness gracious or something? You shut your mouth and you go to your room. Okay. It's 11 o'clock. It's pretty late. Yeah, I should have called. You know, I, I got, uh... It would have been nice. There's phones everywhere. Yeah. Well, so did you uh, hook up with that woman tonight or, or what? We, we, we met for a drink, and I just needed to remind myself and her that there was a good reason for us not to uh, yeah. pursue the patient. What's the procedure I go by to press charges? How do I, do I fill out a form, or do I call the police now, or what do I do? Just bring me downtown. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. Okay. I'll get the rope. Okay, you don't need rope. <laughs> you don't. Ben, wait, wait, Ben, 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 easy, easy, easy. What? Yeah. Hey, hey, Can don't I... manhandle me, Ben. <laughs> Dad, this... You know, I'm still a person. Hey, hey. I haven't, g I still have some rights. Hey, shut up, all right? <laughs> I'll do the talking here. Okay. Right, just keep your hands behind your back. Okay. Dad, if I'm going to make a citizen's arrest, you can put up a fight. I'll give you a head start. Okay, go. Uh, forget it. See, that's the thing is you're too lazy to arrest your own father. Well, I'm more like a detective. I let the, yeah. uh, the uniforms do the job, do yeah. the chasing. But um, I don't think I did anything illegal or immoral. In fact, I don't like to hunk my own horn. Would you come over here and hunk this thing for me? <laughs> I mean, that's just common knowledge that you you got to draw the line there. You're not supposed to be seeing your patients on a social basis. Well, that's what I did tonight. I drew the line. I, I just, we, we met for a drink. But isn't that officially crossing the line if you, you meet your... Well, she's not a patient that I'm treating now. I'm just w was right. reminding her why... Hey, but you got to know that you have a lot of, you know, you probably still have a lot of power over this woman. No, I don't think it's, this is an abuse of my power, you know, All right. to meet an ex-patient for a drink. 
Did you mess with her head? A little bit. Great. <laughs> you gotta occasionally cross the line just to know it's there, you know? Well, it's not, you know, you're kidding, but I think there's something to that. You gotta test the waters. You're kidding again, but I think there's something to that. <laughs> you gotta, uh... You gotta put the baby before the bathwater. <laughs> you can't I'm... throw out the baby with the bathwater. You can't throw out the baby with the yeah. bathwater. Yeah. And even if you could, where would you put it? Yeah. What about uh, Tuesday? Tuesday at two. Tuesday two. Hang on one second. Hey Laura, can you switch uh, Mrs. Kowalski? <laughs> See if you can get her on the phone. If she can, if she can switch Tuesday at two to uh, later that day or earlier that day. That would be great. And just pencil in Mr. Franken yep. for me. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's I I I understand what what it is that you're upset about, but let's let's move on. Okay. It's just that you know, I'm not making much progress in here. I really am not because You know what? I feel like we're making progress even though this is what we're focusing on. I yeah. feel like this is some kind of progress. I don't Am I hearing anger in your voice? Do you feel like that that I've done something that's unkind or not? No, it's it's. I, 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 You're certainly allowed to be angry at me. I mean, this is that there's nothing that okay, you can't. Well, then I'm angry at you. Okay, how come? Because of this, I can't get in here. I can't. Whenever I have to change my schedule and I call, it's frustrating. I got to deal with uh, what's, what's her Laura. name, Laura. And and every time I need to change the schedule, we go through this thing where it's four or five different times. I pencil them in. You can't make it. I got to okay. hear a voicemail. Okay. What are you really mad at? This. I think it, this. This is what I'm. I'm angry at. This is. You think this I'm is, angry at something else? Well, I think this is. This is a very easy target for your anger. Uh huh. It's good that you're you're displaying this this anger. This is a good thing. Yeah, but I I, th I feel like it's still it's not about scheduling. It's about. See, I think that you in some way want my approval. No, I don't. Uh, I think I used to care about your approval, mm -hmm. but now that I've gotten to know you, I don't. I don't care. Uh, I actually think it's a good thing <laughs> that you're not looking that you're not looking for my approval. I think that's a healthy thing. Well, I'm not. I approve. <laughs> Prostitution stole a crime. That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. It's so out front. They advertise in the yellow pages. They do. Look in the yellow pages. You see ads for escort services, massage parlors. Uh -huh. And they have slogans just like any other business. I saw one that said, we give the best service, no hidden charges. What kind of hidden charges are you going to get from a prostitute? A guy's going to get his bill. All right. $100 for sex, $50 for rust-proofing. Whoa, sunshine, can you come here a second? New York City is a sick place, man. You know what I saw there recently? I saw a guy masturbating at an automatic teller machine. Mm. Yeah, I was grossed out too at first. But then I realized, hey, there have been times I've checked my balance and I find, wow, I've got a little more money than I thought. And you want to celebrate. Just take a couple of deep breaths, count to ten, and move that party to a different location. I just walked into my friend's tiny new apartment. Mm -hmm. He's got his bed on a loft 400 feet in the air. Right. That's got to feel great being a 35-year-old bank vice president who's still climbing a ladder to get into bed at night. He's all proud of it. He's like, hey, man, look what I did. I lofted my bed. I put my desk underneath. Wow, this is a mansion. This is like the Taj Mahal. I got an idea for you. Why don't you loft the desk also? He's like, I will loft the desk. You know what? I'm going to loft the cat also. You ever have sex in one of these loft beds? Yeah. No. I almost did. By the time we got to the top, she said, my judgment is no longer impaired. Suddenly, I'm not into this. I said, that's all right, baby, because I got a nosebleed. Right. I sleep on a futon myself. Yeah. These things are horrible. What is the selling point behind a futon? 
Well, in the daytime, it's an uncomfortable couch. Mm -hmm. And at night, it becomes even more uncomfortable bed. Wow, both those things in one unit, huh? Wrap that baby up. Roll that baby up. Whoops, you know what the music means. Fold that baby up. Our time is up.